cancer is not only uncontrolled cell division, but cells of cancer have strange behaviors that make them harmful to human body. Here we discuss some features of cancer cells that make them different from normal cells. One of the first thing we see is that normal cells attach very well to the surrounding extracellular matrix and there is also connection to the neighboring cells. When normal cells lose its connection to surrounding, they undergo apoptosis. This feature helps maintaining the overall architecture of tissue and keep it strong. And cell-to-cell -cell communication is also important for function. For example, gap junctions between cardiac cells allow transmission of impulse between myocytes, so the entire heart muscle contracts as one unit. Cancer cells, on the other hand, lose this attachment and become anchorage independence. This allows them to invade the surroundings and move easily. Lack of cell-to-cell -cell communication between cancer cells results in tissue dysfunction. Another feature of cancer cell that help them move is the changes in cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton is a skeleton of cells. It consists of network of filaments and microtubules that are important to keep the coherence of cells and also to help movement. Cancer cells show appearance of abnormal filaments of actin that help them move and invade and microtubules that are important for cell division. Moreover, normal cells do not divide unless there is stimulation for growth. This stimulation is achieved by growth factors that have receptors outside cells. For example, breasts in female stay small until time of puberty when estrogen become high. Breast tissue have estrogen receptors that work in stimulating growth. Cancer cells, on the other hand, are growth factor independent. They multiply even with no presence of growth factor. In the example mentioned, types of breast cancer multiply even with no presence of estrogen. It is mentioned that cancer cells produce their own growth factors that stimulate their uncontrolled division. An additional thing is known as cell density dependent inhibition. This principle means normally there is certain density required for tissue. If we have cell multiplications to recover wound healing, for example, the process continues until certain density is reached. That might be when the edges of the wound come together. After this density, growth is terminated. Cancer cells, to the contrary, lack this feature. They grow with no regard to adjacent tissues. They even overgrow to compress surrounding normal tissues. They may result in cut of blood supply to particular area due to this compression resulting in ischemia and necrosis. To learn more, if we put normal cell in nourished culture, it will multiply for limited times, after which it dies. The reason for this is that with each cell division, there is cut in terminal part of chromosomes, part known as telomer. After some division, the telomer is very short, and this gives signal for cell not to divide again. Cancer cells have high level of enzyme known as telomerase, which prevent telomer shortening. This gives cancer cells ability for unlimited lifespan. Another factor in pathogenicity of cancer is the expression of new surface molecules. These molecules 
are known as cancer antigens. The importance of these receptors is the secondary effect that might cause. For example, some receptors stimulate the immune system. Immune reactions then result in tissue destruction. Clinically, understanding these receptors helps using them as tumor markers to identify presence, progression, or recurrence of cancer. Before last, cancer cells may produce substance that is either similar or different from that of cell of origin. A hormone may be produced from lung cancer cells, or excessive amount of cortisol might be produced from adrenal cancer. Some cancer cells produce procoagulant substances that promote clot formation. Definitely, in these cases, cancer will result in obvious disorder. Finally, and one kept to end because it is the underlying cause of most abnormal behaviors we mentioned, is the genetic instability. This is the hallmark of cancer and the target for most cancer research. It is because genes abnormalities lead to abnormal proteins. These proteins might be receptors, substances, growth factor, new cytoskeleton, telomerase, or abnormal cell communicators. Targeting defective genes might be cure for cancer.